guys, Helen Jane here, and welcome to well, welcome back to JP Goodies. Which in the moment we are looking at legendary, the legendary decks, and this is probably in the. I don't know if they're gonna do like Kaiba or Joey or Jaden or Yusei or Yuma or any other extra characters but I know for sure in the moment it's just Yugi's decks. The first video we had a look at Dolls Kingdom. The last video we had a look at Dolls, not Dolls Kingdom, better sitting right up to KZ Grand Prix. If you're wondering like wondering Hey, where's Tamias and all those kind of cards? There was um, a booster thing called um, Dragon of Legend, and the first one did have like Tamias and all those Legion of Heart and all those ones, and that's out of print. And the second one had like Critias, Hermos, and those kind of cards, and based around that, those two. I think they're also out of print. But if you're looking for um, uh, number three, it is coming out really, really soon. So check out yugiocard.com. Go to your country and find out more. And I wasn't sponsored to say that. <laughs> um, that's where I go up to date to find any new things that is coming up. Um, sneak peeks that I actually want to go but I can't and all that kind of stuff. I would love to go back to a sneak peek. So, what are we looking at today? The deck that we're looking at today is, sorry I'm speaking a little bit fast, <laughs> is the final duel deck. This is when I, this is when I think this is more inspired from the final duel than the actual deck itself. Because it does have some cards that the team used and some cards that Yugi used. This was supposed to be like a gadget deck, but there's not that much gadgets. Only the three. Which well, was more gadget cards. And I do not mean the wind up cards. <laughs> yes, I know that exists, and I am so surprised that they're able to a Kiwi into a light bulb. But I'm just happy that they acknowledge us Kiwis. Thank you for that, Konami. So before we go into the back of the deck, let's have a look at the special card for this. Um, if you are looking for token cards, I think I have a few in my deck. Um, I don't think it's in here. Yes, I do. Yes, it is. It's in here. Hooray! This is my own deck. Um, you probably are familiar with tokens. Um, some, I think, 5Ds and Joy's World had some. I can't remember if Yuki's World did, but I know that the first two didn't, so, well, I've been collecting through them, so I have, yeah, that, yeah, it's from Yuki's, um, Yuki's World onwards for the collection, so, like, some of you guys probably have, like, Haribo, um, I don't know what this one is. I am sorry. Um, and if you got, I think, Joey's World? Yuki. I don't know if I've, I can't remember if I've have it, but I know this is from Joey's World because of Scapegoats, and he loves Scapegoats. Scapegoat card. Some you probably got cards from regionals, took cards from regionals, some of them from nationals, world qualifier, um, if you're in the states you probably had a chance to create your own tokens that you can use in battle. 
this one, I think has been given to my um, top players or things like that. I'm not that quite sure, but this one in my hand is Legendary Deck, Yuki's Legendary Deck Exclusive. I do not know if they are going to re-release these. If they are, I hope it will be um, something like this again. And you just sort it in a team card. And this is the an ex this yeah this is an exclusive token just for this collection. Correct me if I'm wrong and see and you probably saw this one somewhere else, but as far as I'm aware, it's only exclusive for this deck. So the rare T cards we have or the holo cards. We have Magician of Black Chaos which being used throughout the series but I'm quite surprised in the final series Magician Black Chaos wasn't a team's and yes I can finally say a team again wasn't a team's souls the monster spirit the bonded one was actually um Dark Cloud's soldier I was surprised because this actually fits him more than um uh, Black Class Soldier, but he did grow up actually learning how to use a sword, so. Um, we have Dark Magician of Black Chaos. We have Silent Magician, level 8. And the current Dark Magician design of this print. The reason why I see this print is because they did another redesign, redesign of both Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. I'm not that much of a fan of Dark Magician Girl, but I don't know why, but I keep on seeing like a small beard on Dark Magician for some reason. <laughs> I'm probably looking into it too much. And also we have Gold Sarcophagus, which was the key to Team's Defeat. Um, if you want to know more about um, the series whatever, let me know and I can do like a... I can go about half an, like half an hour, but I can try and see what I can do. Because I know most of the plot of the classic anime, not the toy. The other cards involved, and there's a bit more. We have Ghidorah, the Dragon of Destruction. Silent Magician 4. I think I'm going the wrong way, haven't I? No, I haven't. Silent Swordsman, level 3. Silent Swordsman, level 5. <laughs> and this was supposed to be in front of it. Silent Swordsman, level 7. <laughs> Which confused me because how it's put out. And we have Dark Magician Girl. The current re reprint of this deck series. I already explained why, but earlier we never pulled out the Dark Magician. Honestly, I prefer the second one out of this deck series. I really do. Um Buster Blader, of course. The Tricky. Again. Jack's Knight. 
Queen's Knight. And I think it's a different background, I think. King's Knight. And I'm surprised there's no Knaves Knight because I think by memory that actually did pop up during the anime. Green Gadget. Red Gadget. Yellow Gadget. Skilled Duck Magician. Skilled White Magician. Black Man. And the cute and adorable Marshmallow. Which is basically, um, the classic equivalent, equivalent or whatever to Scraps, um, Scarecrow. Thank goodness. Um, yeah. Thank goodness, I think I can remember Scraps something Scarecrow. Magic attack. Magicians unite. Dedication through light and darkness. I just love how they had um, Magician Black Cows in there, in that, and how his hair is flying out of nowhere, and like out of that way and all of it. I just love it. Black Magic Ritual. Originally in the anime is Dark Magic. Um, localization and censorship and that's a video converted. Long story. Um, and you don't need to pop pop an eye. So sorry. Tricky Spell 4. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. And much melon. <laughs> much melon, which you can use it to protect your monsters, and you can better attack much melon over and over again. And get a good combos. 
We have a small handful of magic cards this time, um, trap cards. The thing is, in the, in the beginning it was magic cards, not spell cards. I'm rather sick with magic because that's how I pronounce it. Um, and yes, I do me magic cards out of here, not magic the gathering. We have Mirror Force again. Magician Circle Which is a different which has a little bit different in like a uh, spout body circle. Shattered Shattered? Shattered X Stronghold the Moon Fortress right here. Miracle Restoring! I'm pretty sure this one does... Did I show you? I think I did show you polarization. If not, here is polarization here again. This shows how tired I am a bit. Bit tired, or whatever. And dark magic attack. If we, I think that's just probably my favorite because I love polarization. I love fusion, mostly. And speaking of fusion, we have dark paladin, which is a fusion of dark magician and buster blader. So that's it. Oof. Hang on. Oh. It seemed, and the uh, can get it back in. This is a pain. Put it back in my box of treasures. I could be using this as a trunk in the future. I do not know. Um, and I do not know if it's still running. I'll probably if I want to get a new one, another one. For, for ticks and stuff like that. And ow. Itchy air. Ow. And it's so me in there. Ow. Sorry about that. But yeah, so that's basically Yugi's collection needs. Uh, legendary needs. And I got it the wrong way. There we go. Um, I'm really, really glad that um, it came around because it did help me through um, my last few years at primary, which is excellent. Um, and yeah, um, this is bit of side note. This is really, really ironic. Um, I ordered a cookbook, which is like geeky stuff. Um, if you haven't heard of new Nerdy Nummies, then go and check it out. Um, and when I got the book, here's something ironic. I still have it here. Ah! It's a little bit bent. Yeah. I got a book from my DA because it's the only place and it's itchy hair. Um, right here is Mighty Ape. I love Mighty Ape. I want to be more, but I just love this collection. It's like here. Isn't it? No. Here we go. Um, and I was having a look at it. And this is usually around 50, 60 bucks retail price. Got this for Christmas last year. Got the cookbook and I was on end up being all special so like shot I get it. This was from the last three months I think. Let's have a look. 
yet from uh, from the last three months. Ironically, this was in it. So if I had a bit of a chuckle, which was a bit ironic, but it's really really cool. Um, I it's it's probably really hard to actually see the actual picture when it's like have this gold shiny thing but if you want to have a bit proper look at what they use for the middle of the of the lid here you go a bit more clearer for you huh and they actually have the um what it was in the original which is like in the anime the classic anime which is like a super like dark like really dark brown really light brown and a brown oval in the middle. That's how it was in the beginning. And one of the things that I saw recently I was like folders or something like that had our itchy yeah. excuse it has um it has it showed Kaiba who's cross you usually don't see him cross legged um with it. Um, he, I'm pretty sure they need Christmas eggs under the table for businesses, business kind of things. But, it won't be that, I mean, uh, meetings. But, in this image, it shows that he has the current anime background for the card, but he still wears the, uh, the um, his key card, which inside is picture of his brother Mokuba when they were younger. Um, the cover still had the original um, brown, dark brown, light brown, dark brown oval, which is really really cool. Well, this is going way longer than I thought. Um, I am doing two more Yu-Gi-Oh things as well, um, as well as doing what we did as you've seen with the Pokemon art thing. Um, I'm going to do, well, I'm turning Katie into a doulas by myself, a schoolgirl. I do not know what um, part of I want, if I want a tune to my three favorite, and yeah, my three favorite um, girl uniform in the moment is classic, I'm going to do mean do you see? No. Oh, clearly. Um, if you can see here, Enzo slightly is wearing the correct colours of Domino High School, which is also shown in the classic DM anime. Not the other, like, green and orange combo and Toei. Is that kind of uniform? Um, the alternate dimension of Doll Academy, and I wish that they thought of that uniform earlier for the actual GX thing. It looks way, way better. Um, I do not like business skirts for some reason. I do not like them. Um, or the Zeal outfit. It could be pink, green. Or blue, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's one of those three I'll be tuning myself into. Um, more about that close to the end of the year. And if you like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to pause for more content. Here we have covered nearly everything except for the kitchen sink, which is reviews. Goodies, a podcast that we do, discussions, my own personal part, blog opinions, and we have a second channel that covers gaming, food, try to remember what uh, top of my head, craft, and speed draw from time to time. So, that's <laughs> actually for this month. Um, so we actually will be, both Ken and myself will be seeing you in the, well, will you get the list of us in the next podcast.
podcast. So we will see you then. Bye.